Hello, hello, and welcome back. So I know it's been it's been a very long time since I posted anything YouTube. Um, but I've been wanting to play Inscription for a very long time now, and I decided to just go ahead and do it and record it. And probably gonna post this just as is. I don't know when I'm gonna get to that backlog of videos, but I do intend to at some point. But if you're watching, I'm so glad you tuned in again. And um, sorry about the very, very, okay. very long figure out what's on delay. Oof, okay. Wow. Ooh, the sounds in this. Okay. Oh, I'm digging this. Well, let's get started. What? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, ooh, ooh, what are you doing? Oh, it's like you're playing a car. That's cool. Um. That's yes. Okay. Okay, pretty straightforward. No potato mode. Pause when window not focus. We're good. Um. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh. Okay. Good game. Oh. Wait. What? I never played this before. Oh, continue? I guess? I never played this before. Why didn't it let me? That's probably intentional on the game's part. I don't know why yet. Another challenger. It has been ages. Ooh, the sounds. So full disclosure, I saw one let's play of the beginning of this game. So maybe about a total of about 30 minutes to an hour of gameplay. So I'm not going in completely blind to the beginning. Um, but then beyond that, I don't know. And I definitely did not know about the the sounds because of course I wasn't listening to it with headphones. I've sure forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you, why are your eyes so mesmerizing? Play the squirrel car. I feel like I should play something cool, but it's fine. Oh, it's so cute. Where do I play it? Now play your stove. But, oh, W and S. Okay, go back to the hand. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, okay. Bring back memories. An honorable death. Play the stove. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Bring the bail to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. So, right the number on the bottom left is the attack power. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. this. My turn. Uh oh. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. Oh, what can I do? You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. Uh oh, that's cute. Um, well, I can't because I have to sacrifice my own card. I can sacrifice if I get a squirrel. I can sacrifice it in the stove and get a wolf. I'll do. Oh, I think you Whatever. For you. 
the wolf demands too. I'm sorry. Um, hey, stop. What? Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Okay. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. <laughs> okay, that's really effed up. Its suffering was real. I clicked the button. What happened? Okay. Now what? Uh, you may only draw a card at the beginning of your turn. You're lacking sacrifices. Uh. I don't know what. Oh, ring the bell in my turn. Because you are learning, I will pass. Okay. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. That's a random card. Oh. Uh, what does this do? I need two sacrifices. Oh. To play that wolf, you need to sacrifice two different creatures. I can't do Jack Diddley. One card per turn, don't be greedy. Wait, oh, I guess that's it. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess I might prolong this. Um, you only have one attack, but you have a lot of life. I only need one. Oh, I don't want to sacrifice anything if I don't have to. It's just in the turn. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Okay. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Hmm. You were lost. Oh, my goodness, like D&D. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Oh, that's the choice you made. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damaged from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Infinite sacrifices. Oh, I feel like the black cat is like the more strategic choice. Ugh. But I don't know. Ugh. I like black cats. I like cats in general, and I've had black cats. But then again, I guess, you know, the alternative is sacrificing squirrels, which is all so much better, right? Let's get the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. I feel like I'm already that person is just gonna be making like really cruel decisions for the sake of winning. It didn't take long. Some other creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned shack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break it in case of emergency. And have a second. No, another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. So he's like, what, a dungeon master or something? You were ambushed while crossing some tough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. Uh, I guess. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh, okay. What? Behold the rule book. Fledgling, a card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. I know, but you do have a score. I know. How do I... Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sigil will block 
an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. How do I pick a page though? So like, oh, there we go, there we go. Need I remind you your item? I know, calm down. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I got a boulder. What I got? There we go. He got a wolf cub. So this will grow into a wolf. Okay, I basically got to play the squirrel. Um, okay. Stump protects the cat. I'm not gonna sacrifice him just yet. You cannot draw a car on your first turn. Okay. So yeah, that ends my turn. <sighs> Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. I have another wolf. I have two wolves, which need two sacrifices. Let's get the squirrel. And we'll sacrifice the cat. do I guess six damage to the bat the bat is flying though crap uh, he has a lot of health though I don't know if he can we'll see I didn't notice that bat there my bad um there's nothing left for me to do the airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly ah, I see uh, my bat flew right over your river snapper. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey ho, I don't really have a defense against that. It only does one damage, but if it attacks again, the bat will be taken out. Um, I need. I don't know how many teeth. Okay, I have four more. So you can attack one more time. He'll get taken out. I'll sacrifice the cat. See, he the wolf's gonna be a problem. I'll sacrifice the cat. I can also sacrifice the river snapper and get the wolf to block the other wolf. I think that's the play. Okay. Okay. I know that's another wolf. Um. Squirrel. Personal. What? Oh, it needs to be two different creatures? It, that's just the amount it needs. Okay, well, in any case. I need to block it. I don't know if I should play the squirrel. Well, it'll at least take up a lane. Okay. The scale's back. 
have a wolf. Hmm. Yes, the wolf. So I could do more damage. Um. Prevail and trek onwards past the now bloody trail or terrain. The young wolf cub grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive if feeble flying creature. I have two wolves. You only need one, at least like for this, you only need the one sacrifice. But having that winged ability would be useful. Mm, what's this? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that would be lost forever. I was compelled to what? You were compelled? I don't. Oh, I get to pick between the two, huh? The cat is extremely useful. I just got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pick me. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Okay. <laughs> you sacrifice a card to get a stronger card. What an honor. <gasps> oh, I got the ability. The ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stove. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine card. Oh my gosh. My canine cards with the airborne sigil. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Is that it, really? Enough. It only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Ugh, alright. Um, what do you have? Oh, well, two things that can fly and do two damage and have one health. I need to block them. Crap. Okay. What if two things have this sigil, though? Then what? And only pretty much the items I gave you. Just this. Oh, thank you. You were actually really helpful. Uh, okay. So I could get a wolf. They're gonna attack over them, though, is the problem. should take them out. Now I already have two on the board. Let's play the cat. Oh, I need a sacrifice. So I have to get a squirrel. Oh, I gave that up. So we gotta wait till next turn. You're four damage away from winning. Why can't he not attack him? Two and then three. <sighs> so 
so it would do three damage against him. I have the upper hand so far. So far. Um Since I don't know why, but they can't seem to attack them. Which is annoying. But to the coyote. So I don't know what that's about. Um, I will keep things as is. <laughs> Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. speaks enough of its efficiency, efficacy. A reviled skunk, its stench reduces the strength of an enemy. Feature opposing a car bearing this sigil loses one power. I'm not sure what this means. Um... Grizzly. Um, so this would entail me sacrificing a card for an ability. I would have got the mm, It might have been a good idea to get the squirrel. I mean, not the squirrel, the skunk. If I remember, there was a sacrifice thing here. Let's go for the campfire. I could have a tag. We came across a small group of survivors, faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power. But another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Um, what? Hmm. <laughs> you need to say more than, hmm, I don't know. I have two wolves. I could be River Snapper. It has a lot of health though. It's a good block. Plus one power. Let's try the River Snapper because it'll be a major contender if it gains one power. The fire warmed the poor River Snapper, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the River Snapper away from the fire and left. Ooh, okay, we did it. Ugh, so this is like an upgrade, but I feel like there's a chance you could lose a car. Alright, what do you have? Sparrow, oh gosh. Okay. Um, Rand Earth. Our bearing the sigil will block opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. Okay, so I'm good with him for a little little bit. I need to block this freaking grizzly. Um I'll play the squirrel and the cat. Ah freak, I need to do that. Okay. Um, I can't draw on the first turn. 
Your green and fur can't be sacrificed. Of course it can't. Um, okay. So next turn, the Grizzly's gonna come up. Next turn, I have to get a squirrel. Sacrifice the cat and the squirrel and block it. I don't have enough to summon the Grizzly. Now the skunk might have been kind of nice. Oh well. How many Grizzlies do you have, bruh? Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I have to do this. He takes him out in one hit. I know I I can't. There's like nothing. Oh my gosh. A will or point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. I didn't think I would have to do it. Ugh. Um he blocks two. Oh, I only get one. Oh my god. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't know if there's anything. Does he block? Look, he's sending grizzlies after me. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't have enough to sacrifice to summon a grizzly. Like, I could sacrifice the cat and one squirrel, and it's not enough. So you're short. I know. Uh, I'm screwed. I, I don't think there's anything I could do. this is a learning opportunity maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment get up get up from the table fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door Oof. oh that's me wait the what oh the candle what? from the barrel oh beside this door okay Bring it here. Let's put a please on that. Oh gosh. Now sit back down. In, please. How do I sit? Okay. Let me explain something to you. Uh oh. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Must. Huh? Now, where were we? <laughs> okay, let's get items. This is going to be a tougher battle than the last. Skunk, the stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. The flighty elk, it moves after attacking. I think I'll take the elk. Should be taking stuff with lower sacrifice counts, but a gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Choo choose one. Should I get this boulder? Um, lift my creatures. It's cool. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. All three. 
think this is the bonus. Bones. Oh my goodness. They get two rounds. I have one. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Did you really? Okay. Yeehaw! Twas the prospect. He's doing the prospect again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Okay. strategy this has no attack it basically acts as protection but if it's always going to move i should focus on attacking left the coyote i need to worry about this might be a good place for my cat thing What is your attack? Your attack is one, your health is three. You would beat the coyote. This spot? You sure? I don't know, it's too late now. they don't attack on that first round because there's nothing for them to attack but when they move forward then they attack on their first turn so that's what he's saying i can see his moves beforehand Ugh, okay um so he should attack first and take out the coyote but i'll need something else to sacrifice to bring in a wolf If he takes out my stoat, I'm putting a boulder there. Oh, because he attacks. He doesn't attack. Okay, so I think I get it now. That was confusing me. So the flight ability basically never attacks a ground-based creature. It always directly attacks the owner. So that's why he's not doing any damage to the coyote. Um, I could have put a boulder in front of the coyote so I wouldn't have to lose the stove. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Hmm. There's gold in them cards. What? <gasps> what? Gold? I've struck gold? What? 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 I can't can't play anything I can't you're out of space there's no room for that car what oh my gosh Get him. unbelievable wow okay you just straight up cheat um you take two sacrifices. My cat is gone. He just replaced my car. What in the actual heck? Okay, what do you do? 
When opposing creatures place opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. When an opposing creature. Opposite to an empty space. I don't know what they mean by that. So like, if he, if I play a card here and the coyote isn't here, it will move over here to face my creature. Well, you know what? <sighs> he gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat. Now a card first, well. They both do two damage. I need to buy myself some time. And I need to get... squirrels in my deck. Okay. Let me see. I need useful cards too though. I have another hit here. can't not enough to sacrifice I need these to open up but when they open up I need to fill them um with cards oh come on okay okay um I need a squirrel basically um I would need two squirrels. What can you kill? You do an attack of three. You can take out the bloodhound. The adder. Air shoes. Okay. But he can only do one damage on his own. Let's get rid of the bloodhound. I have to draw a card. does too but they both do too um oh i think he attacks first uh, my wolf attacks first so that's the only play i got right now oh my gosh okay i have two more so i have to take out the coyote to not make a mistake, <laughs> like screw up and put it in the wrong place or something. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm in trouble. Dude cheating is just like no joke. Shuffles. I guess that it would. The elf. Okay. 
Okay, this is gonna disappear. I need to play something, so I have to get a squirrel. Um, he will take out the mule, and he will do two damage. What the heck? Oh! <gasps> Dang, nabbit my mule! That's why the stoat said the mule was key. Okay. So let's see. Let's make a plan. Um, these two cards stay. Any animal bitten instantly perishes. to block the wolf it does three damage I can maybe sacrifice the wolf here um I'm not I don't need to worry about the adder it does one damage okay um, I have to block the wolf, but what should I summon? I can't summon the grizzly. I need to. Well, I could actually. He'll do three and he has six. Let's do it. Oh, um, no, let me draw a squirrel. So, this works out. Let's summon a powerful card. Let's do the grizzly. I hate how they quiver. Okay. Next, we'll play the cat here. Pull a squirrel and summon maybe the elk. light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Oh, goodness. Achievement unlocked. Miner's Bay. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. You're a Yuli, like a Yeti. A largely unimpressive specimen. Strange larva? But it transforms into something else. We just don't know what. Interesting. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? Child 13. Oof. I already have the black cat, so I won't get child 13. This thing is super powerful, the Ura Yuli, but it takes four. Like I have to sacrifice my entire row. I don't know how often I'm gonna come across that opportunity. We're gonna try this strange larva. With sound the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. 
Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Ah, the elusive otter it submerges itself during my turn. Barbarian submerges submerge itself during its opponent's turn. Once submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay. A fervid mantis, its prying claws strike both to the left and right. A carbon decision will strike each opposing space to the left and the right of the space across from it. Okay. I'm gonna get the mantis. Items. Power Picard, which I feel like there's a chance it could be eaten. Or Power Picard with an ability. Let's see. That's a tough one. Then I don't remember what this is. And then this is a fight. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, that's how you see your cards. And this is a. Items again. I'm curious about this. I think I'm gonna go this route. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, it's crying. It is literally crying tears. Okay. Um. I'm gonna, if I can, sacrifice the cat. I used to be to put it out of his misery. Oh my gosh. Um, and if possible, give the ability to the wolf. Otherwise, the mantis ability and go to the wolf. It, oh, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, cry. Okay. So this is the one that's sacrificed, given, you know, the blood. I really want to put it out of its misery. Okay, it can be sacrificed and it won't die. I don't remember what this is. Oh, special ability battle. Okay. Barbarian sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. Okay, I don't have really anything with that. Um. You know what? I'm gonna be a little risky. I'm gonna play this larva. And, um. Yeah. That strange pupa. Oh, he would play an adder. Um. I can't move it. He's playing adders. Uh, uh, that's rough. Um, here, Mantis. You can attack these two. And I want to worry about it being attacked because of the stomp. Um, I think I drew a card, right? Okay. Kill the pupil. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get a, um, uh, I'm goofy. It's fine. I meant to get a, what you call it. What does the rattler do? What does it do though? 
Because it has another... No, it doesn't have another ability. Okay. I meant to get a squirrel. I'm goofy. Ugh. I might screw myself over. It's fine. It's not fine. I'll make it work. Oof. Oof. That hurt. Oh. That hurt. I gotta, I gotta sacrifice my mantis too. Unless I want to lose. Three. If I lose two, I have to block him. Now I have to sacrifice this. It moves where? To the right? Or the wolf? Which does three damage and will take it out. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. I meant to get a squirrel. <laughs> I know I'm a mess. I don't know if there was a way for me to get out of it though. Given I didn't get a squirrel that first time I was supposed to. I don't know. It, I mean, it's not terribly late. I don't know what my brain is like farting right now. Um, I don't have a get out of jail free card. mess I'm sorry I'm messing up I'm messing up I'm gonna lose a life I'm, I'm sorry how disappointing <sighs> dang I can't believe I messed up like that you must make a different kind of choice now choose not a specific beast but decide the cost that you wish to pay I know if I pick three, it'll probably have to be the grizzly, right? The regal moose, the creatures of the wild make way for it. A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? Hefty. Sigil will move in a direction described as sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. I have sacrificed the bear. Now I kind of want items. <laughs> uh. What will I give it to though? So something that can attack twice but does more damage. It's also not too difficult to summon. Maybe the river snapper. Because it has a lot of health. Can't screw up again. We're going to get items next. <sighs> He's going to have a special ability though, which is going to suck. But if I don't, you know, make stupid mistakes, it'd be a lot easier. It's me. Hi. 
Um, yeah, B. Okay, so I have to take you out. I know I'm sacrificing like one squirrel, <laughs> grab squirrel. Oh gosh, total misplay. Shut up. Ugh. What are they gonna do? Mothman, whoa. Sorry. Wow, seriously, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, as an attack in two directions. Okay, that was, that was a pretty good car. Wow, okay, Mothman, got it. Okay. The apotheosized goat, the trust, the truest offering, sacrificing it grants three blood. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. I really want items. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Yes. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. I mean, it's better than a squirrel, honestly. Do it. Oh no, what is this? I gotta make it through this first. Okay. You have the ability to block flyers on my Corbett. Lucky draw. You know, birds. Okay. Will block opposing creatures bearing the airborne sigil. Submerge itself and point to submerge opposing creature attack its owner directly. And it also can fly. Okay, so what? Blocks airborne creatures, attacks directly, and submerges itself. Oh, okay, fine. Um, first play. Well, I know I'm gonna use the squirrel to get a stoat maybe to block the coyote. I only take two damage. Because he will block his attack. He just won't attack him. Right? Yeah. Fine. Alright. That's all we got for now. You say ow. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see if we can get a stronger car. That's what I wanted. And then... I'm gonna get a squirrel. No. Ugh. Get the squirrel! Ugh. Okay. We're gonna block the frog attacking me. I 
have what four left? Two, three. And he's gonna be blocked, so no more than three ooh, spider. No more than three damage. I'm gonna do some damage on my own. I need to block. Okay. I'll use a black goat if I have to. And I may have to. Oh shoot, I still have to um No, we're not sacrificing them. Yeah, hey, use all the items. Oh, good. Okay. I had to use all my items in a not boss battle, but I'm doing what I have to. These superpower plays are just no joke. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Guess this is him, huh? Oh, I got a chance to get more items. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. <laughs> no kidding. Here to look at me pelts. Take a pelt for your charge. Okay. See the quality? You're leaving already? Please consider my pelts. What does he do? You need more teeth for that one. All right, well, we'll take them two. Three, or however many I got. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path will warn you for them. Hmm. Okay. Squirrels always save them, but black gold. Get more powerful cards. Oh, another boss battle with one health, but one life left. Gray, a foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Oh, fish. Ooh. Well, I can only really do one play here. I'm gonna save my items. Play it early. To it. Which fish are choose? What did you do? Oh, he's about to hook my car. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. I sacrifice it. 
Pressure fish, easy choose. This is the play for now. I can get a squirrel sacrifice and get another wolf. I don't need to do that now. I don't think it'll make much of a difference. Oh, that mothman is amazing. Oh! Too fast, too soon. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, he didn't. He glitched the game. Let's see what I can do. I can't believe this. need to something to sacrifice so this is this is the most I can do man really unbelievable wish I had the stoat here so you can say something about it Ugh, did I neglect to mention overkill damage excess damage is not wasted it carries over to the car behind the mangled corpse of the victim lucky for you I, I don't think there's anything I can do. This is just it. I don't know, maybe if I had one extra life to give, but that's it. He had a full roll of freaking Christmas. He just straight up cheated. fish. No. They, uh, he engineered my loss. Oh. Unbelievable. I'm, I was doing so well. He just pulled the rug. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own desk card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. My deck was really good. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. So what if it's something like this? The cost is zero. Cost of free from the golden pelt. And another. This time I'll use its power and health. The numbers. What about the ability? 
four power and six health from the grizzly. Now choose a card from which we extract the sigils. A sigil of bifurcated strike from the river snapper. I never did ask you your name. There is now but one final matter, the portrait. Achievement unlocked, blood artist. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. 